What's up guys, it's your boy Ravna, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build and plan out a village inside of Minecraft. So, uh, right now I'm walking along the world uh, where we are going to be building the village, uh, but in this, ep in, like, this episode, all we're going to be do doing is like planning out where all the houses and roads and all of that are going to be, and I'll I'll most likely make a second video where I go over how to make different types of houses and where I put all the houses in. So there are a few things I need in my um in this village. So uh, one of so like those like buildings and stuff which we need. So we need a library, uh, a place for uh, librarian villagers, farmers, uh, toolsmiths, uh, armorsmiths, and like a few other villagers like that. Uh, we want some fields, some pens for animals, uh, and we just want some normal villager housing and all of that type of stuff. So, as you can see, we're now zooming in on me, and soon enough we'll be going, getting right into planning out the build and where everything is going to be going. So, right then, uh, thank, please make sure you like and subscribe if you like the video, and yeah, so let's get right into it for time lapse let's just have a quick look uh, around the island so uh, this is sort of where we're going to be building uh, the like village or town so it'll probably be like around this bit sort of in this like little bay by the ocean so swarms like over uh, there kind of near that uh, ruined portal uh, we've got this sort of like bit coming off of here and then we've got like a plateau over there and we're going to be building like the town inside of this area just here. So we might fully populate the sign how big we decide to go this part, but I reckon it will mostly just be the inner bit here. So uh, the way this island works is it's kind of split in half, uh, like in the um, uh, in the middle. So on one side of the desert there's uh, the savanna, and on the other side there's also the savanna. So, uh, resource-wise, we can make the assumption uh, that there will be quite a lot of dirt, uh, obviously acacia wood, oak wood as well, but over here there's a shattered savanna, so uh, as you can see, it's got quite a coarse dirt here, so we can obviously use that for paths, and that will be pretty useful, uh, and that's also quite a good use of stone, uh, there's also a few like little islands, it's got quite a few islands on it. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the island. Uh, there are obviously plenty of places we could build it. So for example, we could build it on top of this mountain just there. Sorry, my frames are going down a bit. That's just the thing I'm using for some reason. So as you can, we could do it like on here, sort of like a, a city, like on top of this part. Maybe going on to that bit as well. I think this will probably be best because it means uh, the people living in it will have access to, to the water and all the trade in that. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get uh, into the time lapse where I go over how we're going to plan out uh, the village or town. So let's get right into it. Right then guys, so now we're going to be like filling in uh, the parts of the terrain that aren't good uh, and putting in some like roads and stuff. So for the terrain all you want to do is cover up those little ponds that spawn around, flatten it out if it's like a bit awkward and just like doing stuff like that, filling in caves, as I said before just flattening it out, removing any trees that will be in the bit that you're building. So as you can see now that's all we're doing, so we're just filling in the ponds, uh, filling in some caves, uh, as we circle around you'll see that we're doing quite a large like cave in the desert so as you can see just there we're just covering all of that up uh, flattening out a little bit of it because some of the terrain is a bit strange in the way it generates uh, and here I am just removing all the trees uh, so uh, if it looks strange it's because I used a world edit brush to just remove the uh, logs and then the leaves uh, but that's basically that's basically the first part to it uh, you can obviously get rid of all the grass on the ground, but I just couldn't really be bothered to do that. Uh, so yeah, um, so all we're doing right now is just doing that, but soon we're going to be creating the roads and the way we're going to be planning it. 
So the way I normally plan my rows is by creating like a circle in the middle out of blue wool. But the way you want to do it is by using dots like that. So as you can see, I just spread them out every like two or three or even four blocks and just make the circle in the middle and then just build out some roads just like that going along. There doesn't have to be any pattern, but it's probably best if they're not too straight because that just makes them stand out. Uh, obviously this is going to be kind of like an older style of town and not like a modern city because in a modern city they'd be much more grid-like and definitely wouldn't really look like this. Uh, so yeah, and then the way you just like uh, make all the buildings uh, fit in correctly, obviously, is you just uh, connect uh, all of the roads together in certain ways, uh, and then you just like build out, uh, breaking up all the roads by putting in smaller roads like in the middle, just like that, as you can see there. Uh, so yeah, so now I'm going to just be removing some of them because I. Uh, overestimated how much I'd be building, and I remove even more like later because I overestimated myself again. Uh, so, yeah, now let's get into the first person world and uh, plan out some buildings. Right then, so as you can see, we have now uh, like made a plan of where all the roads are going to be in our like town or city. So, as you can see, the way I've sort of done them is just by using uh, like wool blocks to sort of make a, a like shape of what they would look like. And as you can see, it's got quite a nice uh, shape. The only thing I sort of kept in mind is like where the coasts are and like uh, why you'd actually want to live in these places. So yeah, uh, so yeah, so that's it's pretty simple really for where you want to do it. Uh, so right now we're going to start planning out some buildings for the village. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. Right then guys, so now we're going to be putting in the buildings uh, like inside for roads and just planning out where all of them will be. So as you can see, I'm using coloured wool for this. I'm using several different types to uh, show what the different types of buildings are. So the red wool is going to be a sort of like African hut. I believe so it's gonna just be like ones you'd find in the savannah and stuff you'd like just find like that uh, the orange one is gonna be like a modern sort of style of that sort of house so it's gonna be using uh, stone and just like uh, dark oak wood uh, you'll see probably in the next episode when I um, go through uh, how to make your own designs for this uh, the white one is gonna be like a tent like one you'd find in like uh, America before it was colonised. Uh, the like dark green one, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, it's going to be sort of like a um, a uh, sort of like a normal Tudor sort of house uh, and that's why it's so thin. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure that's all of the buildings. Oh no, the, the blue one is going to be sort of like a deserty style building using terracotta. So with these sorts of buildings uh, there are several ways to do them. But normally you want a large like range of the angles and stuff they're going to be built at. So obviously, as you can see, there's a diagonal building with the blue. If you guys want a specific tutorial on how to build diagonally, then please tell me in the comments, because I'd be happy to do that. Uh, but as you can see, it's sort of at an angle, uh, and you want them to sort of line up with where the roads are being and not sort of cut them off in any way. So as you can see, we're just building up quite a few of them in these little spaces in between. Uh, that's how I sort of like plan them out, really. Uh, so yeah, um, as you can see, uh, it's just all being built out like this. Uh, so all of them are specific kind of sizes in a way. So with the uh, orange one, it's got like a base of like 11 by 7 or something. And I sort of had a sort of idea of how big they were all going to be. So as you can see, the white uh, circle and the red one are all exactly like all the same size throughout the entire uh, town. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think I forgot to mention the lime one, but that's actually going to be like a Spanish sort of house. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, most of that. Uh, the way I'd recommend putting them in is try to avoid getting them too close to the roads, because obviously they're not going to be as thin as they are at the moment. So you want to have them like a few blocks away from it, just so you have a kind of sizable road. 
obviously that's quite hard to do so if you're going to do like really high scale you might want to build for roads first uh, and I'll be going over how you want to build for those in a later video so the rest of the build is pretty much just putting all of these in uh, there isn't really much change between them but when you're building in like a city like this you want your builds to not have too many like parts coming off of them uh, so you can just focus on the whole thing instead of just one building uh, because like for example when you're building your own thing uh, you want a um, you normally put quite a few like parts coming off of the main square in it uh, but when you're doing something like this you don't really want to do that so uh, as you can see uh, all of the buildings are pretty small uh, you don't want to go like huge mansion really you want to go pretty uh, tiny in a way uh, just so it's a bit easier uh, to build them all up uh, I'm also just like putting them all down on the um, uh, on the like uh, floor uh, you might want to instead use like uh, concrete powder as that will mean you can just like place them down and it will go to the correct height but I, I just use wool for this because I found it kind of easier but when we build the wall later uh, I did make that out of concrete powder so as you can see we're just uh, building up more of this uh, obviously if you want you could put signs inside them saying what you want to put in them so I might do that later when I'm doing like some extra planning and stuff like that and obviously these may not be the full shape of things so I'll probably have some parts like uh, coming off and like having different like uh, like roofs going over like dormers and stuff like that uh, so yeah as you can see there are plenty of like different shapes going on here uh, all of them I mean most of them are kind of connected together and that doesn't really matter uh, as long as you know which one is going to be taking the most like height over the other ones and you can like make sense of where they're all going to be. As you can see there are a few like areas between the buildings with nothing in them. Normally they're just going to get filled in with like overhangs and stuff but especially in like the top uh, like left right now you can yeah left you can kind of see like there's quite a large area in there and you could probably put in like a small park or like a private gardens or something like that so yeah uh, if you if you're wondering how i like uh place all of these buildings i normally try to make it so all of the colors uh you can't see them like down the street or they're not right next to each other the first like city i ever made i just had three different types of buildings and you could see all of them and it didn't look very good because they were all so consistent but you want quite a few different types of buildings I've got five here but if you're building something much larger you definitely want buildings with at least like maybe ten different like types uh, so yeah so as you can see uh, we're gonna be adding in a new color now which is gonna be pink uh, this is just like an exception building so this is probably gonna be like a government facility or like a a prison or something so as you can see it's quite a bit larger than the other ones and got and it's got quite a bit of shape so there's got quite a large bit coming off there and it might be used for like prisons or whatever uh, also uh, we've just got quite a few different shapes coming off here I think you should choose quite a few of them because with that green building there you can see it's like an M shape and that, that will look definitely very interesting when it's all built up uh, so yeah, here, you, here we can see now, we're just uh, going along another orange building. Uh, I'll show you probably in a bit more detail about each of the houses like later in, an, in another video. Uh, so yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, inside this bit, uh, like that we're just building now, I put in the different buildings and that's going to be like a market area because there's a little area just like in there with nothing in it and I think that would be pretty cool to just have some little stores and stuff like that uh, so yeah now we're just uh, building up some more shapes of course uh, and that's pretty much most of the video to be honest uh, I think it looks pretty difficult but until you like try it it's actually pretty simple really as long as you know how to add different shapes to it and like add parts to it and just how to make things look interesting and I mean it's pretty simple really so as you can see here uh, we're just building up some slightly larger areas all of these shapes I've tried to make as original as possible but there are obviously going to be like similarities between them uh, so yeah uh, I'm gonna have some towers inside it so as you can see there uh, the sort of 
line building. Uh, that's going to have quite a few different like types of um, shapes inside it. And yeah, here's another pink building. It's pretty similar to the older one, but this one's going to have a tower in the middle, as you can see there. Uh, the way I normally mark out towers is either with like a three by, wait, a circle with like a radius of three, uh, or like a smaller one or a bigger one or whatever. So when we get onto the walls, you'll see that I mark out the corners with towers, which are like three by three. So as you can see, we're just adding even more buildings. Uh, there are definitely new ways to like, add different shapes to them. So as you can see, there's obviously the just build off another L shape from the main square. But there are different ways of doing it, like with the orange building right in front of us. You can see I've added a square like on the corner, just like coming off. You might have seen houses with stuff like that. Uh, so yeah. Okay, right now I've just made this like town a little bit smaller. Because uh, like, as you can see, there's already plenty of buildings and we don't really need to build any more. Uh, so now we're starting to build up the gate. Uh, I used, as you can see, all of the walls are two blocks thick. And I did this uh, as that's how thick the walls are actually going to be. Uh, I think that's probably a good like amount, like size, to have them. And as you can see in every corner where it like changes um, direction, I've just put a tower. So I believe the walls are probably going to be made out of um, either sandstone or like brick or something like that. Uh, so yeah, so as you can see, uh, we're just building this all around the town. Uh, if you're wondering what we're going to do for like the port uh, and like what's going to be near the ocean, I'm going to be making like a, um, uh, what do you call it, like a sort of like boardwalk. So that's going to be um, near like uh, the water and it will probably be made up of the same thing as for like walls, but it'll be on a different area. So. The dock won't be really protected with the wall, but uh, something else like will. This is like a lighthouse area, so another pink building, which I think looks pretty interesting. Uh, so yeah, um, so as you can see, we're just building it all out. Uh, when the where there are like the dots, uh, those are where like gates are going to be. So there are quite a few like everywhere really. Uh, so yeah, uh, obviously. Uh, there will be a little bit of extra space around, so we will be building some more smaller buildings, like, in a minute. Just, like, inside for walls where there is, like, space left. Uh, so, yeah. Um, there's not really much, really, to say about this process. Uh, I It's quite difficult to work out where the walls are going to be, like, in, uh, like, in uh, direction to, like, the towers and stuff like that. But I think it's just easiest just to like place them in where you think they'd work and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, um, as you can see, we're all just building it along, uh, trying to make it so the roads have plenty of space if they're right on the edge. As you can see, especially with the water, there's quite a lot of like space uh, where it just turns into concrete. Uh, so yeah, so this is obviously quite a large town. This must have like quite a few buildings, maybe like 30, probably even more, I'll probably count them in the next episode so I know how much work I have to do. Uh, so yeah, so now we're just building this all along, trying to match up, match it up to all of the like different areas. Uh, as you can see, this bit doesn't really look right, but it doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, now we're just adding in like a final part. So this is the final bit of the wall before we add some buildings on the inside and then add some other stuff. I don't know if you can see this, but in the lighthouse you can see that the walls sort of align with it. So that is also another thing you can do. If you have like fortified buildings, you can obviously just like mix them in with the walls to save space and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so now, as you can see, we're just putting in some more buildings and the space between the walls. Uh, so they're all just the same thing, just trying to avoid having too many right next to each other. Uh, some of them are connected, stuff like that. Uh, these ones are quite large and have quite a lot of space in them, so uh, that's a pretty interesting uh, choice. Uh, those white bits there, uh, as you can see, they're just sort of like in that small area. That was supposed to be a marketplace, but there will probably be a lot of markets just like on the um, actual uh, build itself. So now we're getting to the last bit. And we'll be building the um, 
church soon, so there will be a pink building like in the corner. That will obviously be made out of something different. Uh, so yeah, then we'll be building up. And now we'll be doing the final part of this build, which is just putting some farmland outside of the walls. There, I will put some farmland inside the walls, in just like e empty spaces and in parts between buildings. Uh, but yeah, now we're just going to be going over and starting to build the farmland. I use just use cobblestone to map these out, as there will just be some like stuff like that, just how they're organised. Um, and I obviously expanded the um, roads to come out like that. Uh, so the way you just do like measure out where all the crops and will be and where the walls outside of them are, uh, I just use cobblestone and just the um, pattern like I do for roads. But obviously, because it's a different colour, you can kind of see them. So that's pretty much the video, guys. Uh, Thank you so much for watching, I will definitely be making like a sequel to this, so expect that within the next month, most likely. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is pretty much uh, an overview of the town, and I will see you uh, soon. Thanks for watching, bye!